Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your weekly reading for October 11th through 17, 2021. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So let's see where we go here. Let's see what we've got for you guys for the week ahead, please, for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know for the week ahead? Thank you very much. So let's see, we have first out, we've got good luck. Oh, I love this card. This is wonderful energy for you. And we also have reconciliation. Wow. Okay. Well, um, first things first, we actually do still have Mercury in retrograde all the way up until the 18th. And while that does uh, instill fear down the spine of many people in regards to communication or making decisions, Mercury retrograde can also be the return of something. All right. Something that's been out in the universe gets flung right back into your lap. It can be people. It can be situations. It can be opportunities. All right. And in this particular instance here, we do have the reconciliation card with the good luck. So if you have been really thinking that there's an opportunity that you may have missed or that you may have lost in some way. And this can be a person as well. If you have been manifesting anything back into your life um, in the week ahead, your, uh, your luck is on your side. All right. So there is a chance for reconciliation, reconnection. And sometimes we, it doesn't necessarily even have to be, I mean, the first thing when people hear that people are coming back, the first thing people think about is a past romance. And while that might, might actually be possible, okay, it can also be old friends. It can be old work colleagues. Um, and with the good luck, right, these people that may come back, could actually have new opportunities for you as well. So on one hand, there could be some reconciliation in the mix in the week ahead, but there could also be those opportunities that come in. All right, the return of somebody uh, or a situation into your life could end up being very, very positive and very prosperous for you as well. And the black cat energy is bringing you in this good luck. All right, so this is a time when you may have a very fortuitous win at something, uh, something that you took a, ch uh, a gamble on, all right, is um, coming to fruition, right? It's like, ooh, this, I, I was really hoping this would work out for the best, but I wasn't 100% sure, and bingo bongo, here you go. This is a great time for you to start new projects, new beginnings, um, manifestation, okay? This is an excellent energy for that, all right? Cats, especially black ones, actually do represent good luck. The black cats were given a bad rap way back in the uh, witch hunting days. Um, cats, uh, historically, through many centuries, are actually um, protection. And they are guardians of the underworld, right? And they protect against, uh, you know, spirits and things like that is the folklore behind that. But black cats, poor little guys, uh, they're actually one of my favorites, but the black cats were given a bad rap back in, you know, the we burn you at the stake kind of days and because they were associated with witchcraft, right? But they're actually not. Cats are very lucky. Cats are very fortunate. Cats are protectors and that good luck black cat is black cat is coming in for you. So we also have the reconciliation. So of course we may have somebody reaching across social media to reconnect with you. This is possibly something that you are hoping for and that you have really wanted. Um, this is also a great time for you, especially with the good luck card and the reconciliation. Um, this is a really good time for you. If you're looking for a job or career opportunities or anything like that, it's a really good, um, sign, a really good omen that this is a perfect time to reach out to, um, old contacts, uh, especially anyone that you used to work with, if they've moved on to another company or something like that, you just never know. There may be an opportunity lurking there for you and they may have actually forgotten about you until you contact them and they're like, oh my God, Taurus, I totally forgot about you. You are perfect for this job that I have. All right. So you just never know. So the reconnection card, the reconciliation card also may include messages from across the veil. A past loved one may be reaching out to you. So be on the lookout for signs, symbols, synchronicities, pay attention to your dreams, songs on the radio. All right. Especially 
Um, you know, especially if your kind of mind is drifting on your way to work or something and you're thinking about something and a song comes on the radio and it just kind of clicks, listen to the words, right? It just kind of clicks with whatever you were thinking about. Um, and that's one of the ways that, uh, spirit reach out, reaches out to us. So there may be a message coming in from a past loved one. Okay. Or from spirit. So pay attention to those things, repeating numbers, especially when you do see repeating numbers, look them up, look up the spiritual meaning and the angel meaning of those numbers. And there will be certainly be a message in there for you. Also stop and think about what were you just thinking about when you saw those repeating numbers, uh, it is the number one way that the spirit world tries to get our attention, all right, because the world is made up of, you know, numbers and geometry. So anyway, but uh, so then certainly pay attention to that. But this can also be a reconnection with yourself, and this could be a, um, a period of spiritual growth, okay, or you're just really coming to uh, into alignment with what you want, with your sense of self, your happiness, your well-being, right? You're uh, getting that uh, deeper connection with your soul as well. So it can be a little bit of a deeper energy with that reconciliation card. So, but I like the little bit of luck coming in here for you guys. Who doesn't need that? All right, so let's see what your tarot has for you. We've got the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the three of pentacles coming out there as well. Energy at the bottom of your deck, the five of cups. All right. So there is a little bit of an underlying energy here of change in the wind. Um, the five of cups really does quite often show that there's been some sort of issue. Okay. Or there's some underlying energy there and there is a need to release and let go. Okay. You may be processing some feelings of uh, loss or disappointment or sadness, or you just now you might not be feeling really great um, at some point. Uh, at some point, and with the with the good luck card, the black cat, the, one of the messages with this card is that you may have been going through a hard time in the last little while and your luck is about to change things are starting things are going to start to get a little bit better all right so when we get the five of cups this is always that reminder that sometimes we spend too much time focusing on our problem at hand that we can't see the solution even though the solution may be right there all right there's an opportunity that's right there but maybe we need to process some emotions or some um situation we need to process our feelings, our emotions from something that has occurred so that we can release any negativity and that we can embrace the positive. We have both in this card, right? We've got, and if you actually look, I actually like the way that they've done this, um, uh, this card in this deck because it actually does show two people right now is this two people not seeing eye to eye and there's an opportunity to reconcile hmm, Mercury retrograde. Okay. Or is this your, um, you know, is this two facets of yourself? One facet where you are focused on the problem, the something from the past, something that has transpired. And is this another part of you that really wants to focus on the positive? This can also represent two people, right? Something has been lost but something may be able to get to be gained as well or there is a chance to recoup something that you may have thought was totally lost but it wasn't completely so the five of cups can actually be a little bit of a complicated card i mean all of them can we can sit here and we can talk about the five of cups for the next hour if you want but that would make for a really long reading okay so we're not going to do that but so there's a number of different messages that come out with that five of cups so it could just be some underlying feelings some underlying energy that you are processing through or that you've been going through for a while and there is um new things coming in here for you your luck is about to change you're entering a new phase a new cycle new opportunities and maybe this is even just that time to reconnect reconnect with yourself to grieve and let go of something uh, that has transpired in your life, something that you either haven't found or something that you have lost in orders for you to figure out who you are and what you want and look at things in a different way. All right, so all of these things coming in the Five of Cups also possibly gives us a chance to 
reconcile or heal from something that has been disappointing, challenging, or even damaging in our life as well. So there may be a new offer, an opportunity coming in here, um, you know, for you to recoup something, all right, to rekindle something, all right, or just to look at the week ahead or your future, <clears throat> excuse me, with a glass half full kind of attitude instead of a glass half empty, glass half full. All right. But it can also be that reminder that sometimes we do need to process and let go of the past in order to embrace the future um, because the past no longer carries energy. It's dead. It's gone. We can't change it, right? We can remember it. We can learn from it and we can take those lessons to the future, but the energy is something that we need to release. All right. We can't carry that energy with us going forward. It will forever keep dragging us backwards. So there is that reminder there with that five of cups that there is something that needs to be processed and released, right? If we don't process our feelings, then they tend to linger and fester and we don't want that, right? We want to be free to embrace, embrace new opportunities, all right, or to um, get some enjoyment out of life as well. Well, we've got the Knight of Wands here. So the Knight of Wands, yes, there may absolutely be somebody coming into your life um, bold and proud and full of energy, full of excitement. Now, this could possibly be somebody that is from the past that's looking to reconcile with you. Maybe someone that um, you have something to heal from, right? It could be that past romance, could be that past friendship, all right? Something that maybe didn't go well or maybe an opportunity that was missed. The Knight of Wands brings in this energy, this um, excitement, okay, this passion as well. So if this is a person coming into your life, okay, it's something that it's someone or something that is very hard to resist, all right? But the Knight of Wands can also just be you feeling this sense of excitement, um, feeling as though you're on top of the world, feeling as though that anything that you start right now, you will accomplish your goals, you'll accomplish what you set out to do. And uh, it does bring in that activity, that frenzy a little bit, all right? But it also does sometimes bring in a little bit of a sense of direction as well. It's like, yes, I know what I want. I know how to get it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do when I get there. I don't know exactly know every little aspect or every little step along the way, but I'm excited and I am moving forward and I'm making these decisions. And I do actually, look, I do have the... Um, underlying energy over here and I just noticed um it just got pointed out to me here that the knight of wands usually the knights look forward right they never look backwards in this particular one it's almost like this knight is actually looking back to this five of cups and right underneath the five of cups I've got the death card in reverse so the death card is usually about letting things go about transformation right um, but it's like these three cards, if I put them back together for some of you, this Knight of Wands is someone that is from the past. They have a, a previous connection with you and there's some unfinished business there. So it could just be that there's some closure that is needed. Okay. But there is also a chance for that reconciliation there. Um, just cause we do have that three of pentacles. We also have the seven of pentacles, which is a card of patience and evaluation, but the three of pentacles can quite often represent two people uh, seeking advice or seeking counsel in, in some way. So if you have been in separation from somebody um, for a short time or a long time, okay, there may be a chance to heal, to reconcile, all right, or at least the very least to get closure that you may be looking for. But this Knight of Wands can also represent someone new that is coming in and they may actually even, they may have an offer or an opportunity for you, all right, or this is you going out and pounding the pavement and getting something done. All right. Taking the lead, taking charge, um, to lead something, to get something done, to start a project, to finish a project, to, you know, make change, to do whatever it is that you need that extra energy boost and that confidence to do that Knight of Wands brings it in. All right. And it just, it's just a very exciting energy. Okay. So if you've been feeling a little bit kind of blah, all right, that Knight of Wands comes in to give you the boost you need. We have the Seven of Pentacles here as well, which is a card 
of, it is a card of patience. It is a card of one of evaluation. All right, having a look at what you have, having a look at where you've been, where you want to go. Um, it is one of, you know, of contemplation. Like, do I, do I stay the course? Do I keep doing what I'm doing? Is there a chance for growth? Will I be successful right now? Or do I need to make a change? Do I need to change how I do something? Do I need to change what I'm doing? Um, am I on the right track, right? Or do I need to throw something all in the bin and start fresh? All right, and that's that energy the Seven of Pentacles brings in. It also brings in um, a strategy as well. So it could be that you've got something really excited, really exciting, a new opportunity or maybe a new project or something, and you're itching, you're raring to go, but first you need to put a plan in place with the Seven of Pentacles, right? First you need to take that little bit of a step back and you need to make sure that you are putting your energy exactly where it's needed, putting your money where your mouth is. All right, and not wasting any time or wasting any any effort. All right, and that can also be that Seven of Pentacles. If this is someone coming back, there may be a question of commitment there also because the Knight of Wands, exciting as that person may be, the Knight of Wands is not known for sticking around as a as a person. Right, they're always on the go. They always have the next thing in mind. It's like before they've even finished doing what they're doing, they've got their sights on something new. All right, so if this is a person coming back in, there may have been a question there about commitment or investment in your connection, if especially if that's a past romance um, that's coming in. And so there is a period of evaluation there with that seven of pentacles. It's like, well, you know what, I'll think about it, you know, and, um, you know, but with the three of pentacles, they may be willing to put in the work, they may be willing to put in an, in the effort, and it's something that you might not necessarily have expected. Um, but it's that black cat, right? That good, good luck on your side. And if that is what you have been hoping for or contemplating for a while, like I wonder if this will ever happen because there's probably a lot of really good positive aspects, right? They're probably really a lot of fun too. Uh, a lot of chemistry. Okay. But uh, I mean, it's not a love reading, but uh, anyways, but the, it's there. So anyway, but with the three of pentacles, they may be willing to put in the work. All right. But um, but the Seven of Pentacles does kind of slow things down a little bit in the middle of the week there, all right, and allows you to really just take a little bit of a look at what you're up to and uh, evaluate your situation. Now, if you're looking for something new, a new job, a new love, you're looking to improve your situation, the Seven of Pentacles also is sometimes one where... We do need to take a little bit of a step back because there's something that we're, there's something missing. There's something that we're missing, an answer, an opportunity. There's something just outside of our current peripheral vision, all right? Because if you look at this card, right, she's got all of her pentacles all in a basket, all in um, little shopping bags there, right? And she's like, oh, I'm taking these with me, right? But there's what, something missing, there's something way hiding up here that she's not noticing. She may have a little sense that there's something not quite right or that there's something that she's missed. You know how you know how sometimes like if you're working on a project or something and you just can't get all the pieces to fit together and you're like, I'm missing something or you just have that sense during the day like, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to do something today, but I can't remember what it was. That's that pentacle right up there in the corner. So there may be uh, a need here during the week to um, double check things, okay? Double check things, um, evaluate things. Uh, it, it does bring in that slower kind of energy. And again, we are in Mer Mercury retrograde. So we, it is that energy where we do need to double check our work. We do need to double check and review our communication and the seven of pentacles is actually a very welcome energy to bring us back down to earth and to get both feet on the ground, even um, to prevent us getting carried away from with something um, because there is that need for a little bit of double checking, shall we say, when we've got that Mercury retrograde energy going on, okay? So uh, something may be lost, something may be missed, some missing piece of the puzzle, the answer, all right? And, you know, so check your spam folder on your emails, right? Uh, you know, um, before you submit documents, just proofread, 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 
right? If you're looking for a job or an opportunity, right? Make sure that you um, expand your horizons a little bit there, right? Because sometimes this can be like some alternate opportunity there that isn't necessarily right in front of your face. All right, so that seven of pentacles really does come in to slow things down, but for a reason, for a purpose, all right? It's supposed to be there and it'll get moving again, okay? It's just that, just that, whoa, Nelly, keep your, I know you're excited, but whoa, get your wits about you. All right, but we do have the three of pentacles as well, which is teamwork, collaboration, working with other people. So there may be a situation where you and another person are possibly working together, learning something, getting something sorted out. All right, but the three of pentacles really is about getting together with other people. You may actually have a really uh, a really fascinating project that you're put in charge of. Maybe you're taking the lead on it and the three of pentacles has, maybe you get to hand select a group of people. You might be, um, you know, stepping into a position where you're like a project manager or you know, you are just like the person in charge or something like that. And the three of pentacles quite often shows working with a couple of other people. All right. But you also may actually have the opportunity to be part of a team where you uh, join like um, maybe your hand selected um, for a special project or something like that. And it's just like a little close knit um, close knit three people there that are, um, you know, that just work very well together. Okay, but the Three of Pentacles can also uh, represent either teaching. You may be teaching, imparting your wonderful wisdom on other people. Okay, maybe you're uh, like in the role of like a trainer or something like that. All right, um, or you could actually be making an investment. All right, and changing your career path or something, going back to school, uh, night classes. It could just be like a day class or something, but maybe you're, you've, you've got some good things on the horizon, but with the seven of pentacles, you might actually be looking to invest in yourself and the three of pentacles. Maybe you have that class that you take. It could be a creative endeavor or it could be something in regards to your career path. So, um, certainly working with other people may be the key, but also, uh, working on a relationship with that three of pentacles. Again, you and your person may be going to, um, you know, that, uh, family counseling or something like that. So <clears throat> let's just get quickly a little bit more information. The Knight of wands, please. Thank you. And we have the anchor and we have the fox. Okay. The seven of pentacles, please. I'm just going to pull these all. And then we've got the man and we have the dog. And three of pentacles, please. And we've got the clouds and we have the tower. All right. So <clears throat> with the knight of wands, we've got the anchor and the fox coming out here. So with the knight of wands, you could absolutely be dealing with a person that is a little bit devious, okay, and something that affects the stability. So it could be a relationship. There may have been some sort of misunderstanding, miscommunication. There may actually have even have been some... Uh, lies or deception coming in here with that Knight of Wands person, you may or may not decide to clear the air if that is the case there. It can also be that there is a person in your week that you're dealing with, okay, if this is a new person coming in, when we have the anchor, this is something that you have probably really hoped for, okay, maybe manifested into your life. This can represent a new love interest or someone that has an opportunity for you, all right, and something that you had hoped for with that anchor card, okay, it's your goals, what you want, and something that represents something long-term, successful, some stability as well, but the fox brings in a warning, okay, brings in a little bit of a warning, so it can be that this person, okay, is very crafty, and very wily, shall we say, about achieving their goals, right? That Knight of Wands will usually do whatever it takes to achieve their goals. They won't let anything hold them back or um, get in their way. And sometimes to do that, you need to be, if you think of a fox, like a fox in a hen house, he's not out to do you wrong or anything like that. He just needs to do what he needs to do to get the job done, right? So sometimes you do need to do a little bit of... Uh, why don't we say operate in the gray area of life, 
<laughs> okay? Uh, sometimes things aren't black and white, and sometimes we do need to be eh, just a little bit crafty. All right, but uh, so that may serve as a little bit of a warning, a little bit of a heads up with this with this person there as well, because the fox does sometimes be bring in that deceit, that lie, those lies, those things as well. But it can also represent here that you need to be a little bit crafty, a little bit cunning, shall we say, in order to achieve your goals, in order to uh, get to where you want to go. And that Knight of Wands gives you the energy to put one foot in front of the other and get things done. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, the Seven of Pentacles, we have the man and the dog. Okay. So we certainly may have someone with the man card coming back in and, you know, or it could be someone that you meet, right? It can be in representative of this Knight of Wands. And with the dog, the dog brings in loyalty, friendship, um, camaraderie, something that is very trustworthy. So you may actually have something going on here with possibly related to the Knight of Wands. It could be completely different where you have an opportunity coming in and it's from a man, maybe even from an old friend. And uh, this can be a male friend. Okay. Um, it could be from an old friend, but this is something, someone that is very trustworthy. You can trust what they have to say. It could be someone that's giving you an adv um, some advice. It can also be someone that has an opportunity for you. Okay. You could be seeking out this person or um, they may seek out you, okay? So it can be necessarily be an old friend or someone that just gives you an advice. Now, the man card can also represent you, okay? Um, it can represent you, and it can be that you need to trust yourself to make the right decision with that seven of pentacles, all right? Believe in yourself, trust yourself that, you know, when you evaluate a situation, okay, that any conclusions that you come up with, any decisions that you make, are right for you. Trust yourself. All right. So, um, but you also might be focused on your partnerships too, because the man card can represent uh, your significant other as well. And someone that feels like your best friend. And again, it could be this, it could be someone coming back in and there is some loyalty there. There, you know, they may really be, um, you know, telling you that they want to be in this for the long term with that seven of pentacles. They want this long term investment with you and they are loyal to you. So you might have some things to work out with the three of pentacles. All right. But, um, you know, they are expressing their loyalty to this situation. <clears throat> with the three of pentacles, we have the clouds and the tower. So there certainly is something here that may causing baby causing you a little bit of grief. The tower does show something that is long term. It can be something in regards to your company. The tower can quite often represent a larger corporation, but the clouds brings confusion, brings issues, brings um, problems. Now it could possibly be with the three of pentacles that you and some people that you work with, you're putting your heads together because there's maybe some sort of issue or problem in your company in the week ahead and you need to work with others to clear the air, to get things done and to get things back on track. Okay. It can be that, you know, with the three of pentacles, again, if you are um, working through some issues in a relationship, this reconciliation, okay, the clouds brings X people back. It also brings that confusion, that trouble into your situation. And the tower is, you know, something that has the ability to be in there for a long time, or there could just be a long history there of issues in your relationship. And, but with the three of pentacles, you may be really getting together with this person to work through them. Okay, so um, other people are certainly involved in order to clear the air, clear the issue, whatever it is your situation happens to be. Okay, so, um, but again, that tower is uh, either a corporation, okay, or something that's been happening for a long time, and you're taking the steps that are needed to get the answers that you need or to clear the air, clear up any confusion issues and find solutions um, going forward. All right. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something in this reading that resonated with you in some way. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. Okay. I love the good luck card. I just get excited whenever that card, the, just so you know, the good luck card never comes out. 
Okay, I've had this deck for a long time and I use it actually quite uh, regularly because I actually really like it. And that black cat does not come out very often at all. Okay, so it's a really good sign, a really fortunate sign for you that it did come out for you this week. All right, so thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.